good morning everyone today we are going to perform experiment number 4 the aim of the experiment is to perform queries on the attribute table for the vector layer that we have added to our layers so uh, the data had shared with you for indian cities and indian rivers we will be adding that layer into our layers menu so go to the add layer add vector and go to your folder i had kept it in downloads folder with the name data3 so i'll just take indian cities and the shape file for indian cities and indian rivers and add it to my layers menu so if i see the attribute table you can see you can see the attribute table of the rivers gives the name of the rivers and and the attribute table for the city gives the name of the cities along with the information related to the population latitude longitude city the name of the state everything is visible along with the population so what we will do is we will just perform some attribute query so what we will do is we'll go to open the attribute table for cities okay so to perform it you will see this symbol for performing the selecting the features using the expressions from this attribute table so just click on this so once you uh, select this let us perform some of the queries so the first thing that i'll do is i'll select the field so if suppose i want to select the states the name of the states as you can see is in the name feature so go to the fields and features name you can get all unique so first double click on it so that it comes into the expression window all unique will give the names so what i'll do is i will perform the query like so i'll just say all the states with starting with a so it is a percentage and i will say enter so what it will do is enter and i will say select features so you can see in the attribute table those particular places are Uh, highlighted what we can do is we will can also see only the selected features by showing show selected features so this is selecting all the selected features we can also see the same on the our qgis window we can see it in our qgis window so i'll just screen share qgis window so you can see the the selected places are in yellow dots and the remaining are in the green dots and the names of the same can be seen in the attribute table where we have selected these places right so we can perform other queries also on this we can use our expressions one i have told you regarding like now suppose i want to uh, deselect it the first thing i have to deselect it so what i'll do is go to show show all features 
and the fourth icon from our select feature using expression let's deselect all features so it simply removes those selected features and all are available for performing the operation now the next thing suppose i want to find out how many uh, states are there in the a uh, particular state so we know that the state is in the feature admin one name so what i'll do is i'll select that and make it equal to say which particular state let us say um, chatisgarh i want to know what all states are there in chatisgarh i'll just enter i'm sorry it's a double operation i'll just enter so select features so you can see that it has selected three features you can see at the top and again we can see what all are the three features so it is bilai raipur and bilaspur now uh, we can perform other queries on this depending upon the various features so select all features and i will deselect it i will perform another query for you say i have uh, latitude and longitude so i can perform a logical operation also say my latitude is greater than 15 is greater than 15 and so if it is correct syntax it will take it and my longitude is i can see the values of longitude it is greater than 80 so i have put a condition both the conditions are true then only it will perform this operation i will say select features so it shows 61 features are there which have a latitude greater than 15 and greater longitude greater than 80 i can also have a third and say population greater than 10 lakh okay so i have made it three features so now the selection is shows only 14 features so that is how we perform i can also show you all the 14 features so these are the features as you can see greater than 15 greater than 80 and greater than 10 lakh is the population all three features so it is only 14 selected features have it so this way if you are given certain vector tables or vector layers you can perform various uh, queries and get values not only that you can perform expressions but you can even perform the logical query now let's do one more query uh, for that i'll just deselect it and show all features and let us a uh, form a buffer now the purpose of this part of expression is now we know that uh, rivers have uh, sometimes uh, during the rainy season there is a problem of floods and we need to actually raise the alarms to those people uh, regarding that floods uh, they lie in that uh, flood prone region so what we will do is we will create a buffer of say 10 kilometers from the major rivers of india and uh, create a kind of an alarm for them so that they are aware that they lie within the uh, flood prone areas so what we will do is we will go to the vector geo processing tools there are lot of things that we can perform we will see some more so what i'll do is i'll go to geo uh, geo processing tool i'll go to buffer so this creates a buffer layer so where do i want to create i want to create a layer around indian rivers now uh, how much distance i want to make it 10 kilometers 
uh, I just click on dissolve the result. Dissolve the result, what it does it, it will not have a distinct boundaries for two uh, rivers when the two buffered areas are intersecting. It will just have a common boundary to avoid any kind of confusion and uh, create a buffered layer. So we can save to the file. I'll save it in the same folder with the name buffered. I had already created or say I'll create it with the name buffered one, a new shape file I'm creating. So I just uh, click on it and say run. Okay, so all of you can clearly see this buffered layer has been created and the rivers are missing. So what I need to do is reorder it and bring the buffer. So now can you see the river lines are also visible and the dots are also visible which are lying in the buffered area. Now what is the purpose of doing this is we need to create or inform the people that you are in the, uh, the uh, area, the flood prone area. So for that what you need to do is you need to do what we will do is we will go to select and say select uh, this uh, search and select by location okay so once i select by location what do i want to select i want to select the feature from indian cities and which are within your selection within your selection say if i have already performed i'll just show you within the selection and by comparing which features buffered feature before I run this, I want to perform within for within feature. I'll remove this intersect and I'll show you one query that I will perform on my table. That is, I will first select all the because uh, what is important is the areas with large population should be alerted first. So I'll just create a table. Uh, where population is greater than 10 lakh. Okay, so I'll just select these features, show the selected features. So there are around 44 cities which have a population greater than 10 lakh. And now our purpose is to off these, off these uh, 44 cities, I want to select those cities which lie in the buffered area. So within the selection that I have done, I'll just do it again for you. So select by location, as you can see in the search. And in that I have selected Indian cities, which are within my already selection, remove this intersect and you the comparing with which feature is only the buffered layer one okay and say creating a new selection no it has to be selecting within the current selection what i have done is i have selected the cities with population greater than 10 lakh and just run it now what will happen is just stop share and i'll uh, share with you the table which shows that there are now 18 features selected. I have shown you 844 features which were there with population greater than 10 lakh. Of these 44 features, only 18 features are within the buffered area like Bhopal, Ranchi, Jabalpur, Ludhiana and uh, all this because they are in the flood prone regions of or within 10 kilometers. We can even change this by uh, reducing the buffered area to say five kilometers where we know that the um, floods, uh, 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 floods are only till five kilometers. So accordingly, we can create the alarms. Now what we have to do is in the last is before you end your practical, just go to this uh, QGIS window you have your selected features. You have your selected features. I will just try to fit 
put in the one window where you can see your cities as well as your um, flood prone buffered area and just go to the project save your project in the same folder where you have your data so i'll go to my docu downloads my data is there in data 3 the same folder which i had shared with you and in that i'll just save it by final QGZ file and it's saved. Once it is done for submission, you can always export to map a PDF, save it and it just directly give you the map. So I'll save it as map four and put it on the desktop and save it it's saved i can show it on my desktop my map four is now visible So my map 4 is visible. You can actually perform uh, the full operation of experiment number four, one of putting a North Pole grid and other things before submitting your uh, experiment number 4 output. Thank you.